harmless compliment or sexual harassment? Wolf whistling divides opinion and Britain's Got Talent judge Amanda Holden knows which side of the fence she's on. I still want to get wolf whistles in my 70s and I don't care how sexist that is, the 51-year-old star told a women's mag this week. I want a builder to give me a little oi, oi when I walk past. I want to be tooted at by men or women when I'm walking the dog. But from whistles to comments to beeps of a car horn these gestures, mostly aimed at women, are no laughing matter in our misogynistic society. Two-thirds of girls have received unwanted attention in public says Our Streets Now, the youth-led organization which is campaigning for cultural and legislative change. A third of girls experience verbal harassment at least once a month. I believe catcalling of any kind contributes to women and girls not feeling safe on our streets. Ignoring unwanted attention, as many of us know, can lead to escalating, aggressive behavior. Thankfully, women are fighting back. Campaigner Farah Bani runs the Cat Calls of London Instagram page, which aims to raise awareness and bring about change. Among the tens of thousands of stories received by the site are a woman who was told on the street, you look like my mum, but I still would and another who was asked, what? You think you're too good for me? When we stop accepting things as the norm and start to challenge them it wakes people up, Farah told the BBC. Especially people who are not affected by these issues, to the impact they have on us, our mental health, our well-being, the constant worry about our personal safety. These are all things that so many men don't realize we experience. Last month, an independent advisor warned plans to make public sexual harassment a crime were being blocked at the top of government, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson accused of being stuck in the past. The fight goes on and I believe all women should argue for a fairer society for their daughters, for their granddaughters, for themselves. Banning wolf whistling might seem inconsequential but delve a little deeper and the reason to end the practice becomes all too clear.